back to the second part of this tutorial. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop it from running there. And right here, what we need to do is first thing first, let's come up here. You see the first person shooter? I'm going to drop that down. I want to put the camera right inside the first person shooter. That's it. That's why you see the sign plus. So it's not a child of first person shooter. So wherever the first person character goes, the camera follows as well. That is very good. Now there is one thing I like to do. Okay, what I would actually like to do is you see since I've added the main camera here, if I run it, the camera will actually be following the first person shooter around. But the truth is we can't spot anything. Okay, that's which is So what I would do is, in here, you see inside this camera, main camera itself, I'm going to go back to the hierarchy here, select create, and you see where we have you or UI. I'm going to come right down, you see image, click on the image, there, look at the size of the image, right there. So this image will be what will be following my camera all around, and because I intend to use a weapon, so this would be what you guys would be seeing. So what I'm going to do is, you see the width, I'm going to change that to 20 because that's 100 is just too much for me. Okay, 20 by 20, that is it right there. But do I really want to keep this? I don't want to keep this, but for now, let's run it and you see what I'm talking about. There we go, you see? That looks like the first person is service it. But it's what I'm going to be using for my target. Okay, I will use it to focus on my target. It's what is known as ray cast. Okay, now let's stop it right there. I'm gonna stop that. So instead of using this square, I'm going to come right down here. You see the the canvas that was created from the UR. That is it right there. I'm going to select everything, canvas, image, and event system. I'm going to select it all and just drag it straight into the main camera. So let's keep going. Main camera right here and just dump it in there. There. So it follows the main camera around. So let's select this, the image itself, and come right here. You see where we have the inspector in the image so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to select anything here we we'll come to the material raycast target click on that okay and because there's something I haven't shown to you guys look at this particle effect park you will also find that inside your asset store unity asset store as well so take note of that name 48 particle effect okay so make sure it's selected because in there I, I intend to use a ring style asset so click on that now come right down let's look for the ring style I don't want any of these you can choose that if you want but the one I want there we go look I have different types of rings ring style asset here I'm going to select this okay Make sure it's selected. All right. Okay. So let's run it. Oh, look, the image is out of the canvas. Let's make sure it's inside the canvas. It's, the image is a child of the canvas, else we won't be able to see the ring. Okay. Now I'm going to come up here and just run it so that you guys see what I'm talking about. Look at that. Can you see the ring itself? You see that? If you want, I can increase the size so that you guys see it properly. Let's come in here and just increase the size to maybe about 50 by 50 and you see what I'm talking about. Okay. And you make sure it's in the center as well. Look at it. Okay. Make sure you select the, the anchor preset. Make sure it's selected. Now, it's centered and I'm going to run it one more time and you see what I'm talking about. All right. It's coming up. There we go. Look at it. That looks a little bit too big, though. But it's good for my target. You just use that to focus on your target. Then you shoot if you if you have a gun. I intend to use some other mechanism. All right. So that's fine. You might even leave it as 50 by 50 for now, or maybe 40. I don't know. 
for now I haven't made up my mind for real so let's go for 40 we might we can always increase or, or decrease that so that is taken care of good now we're still in the design process okay so what I want to now do is I now want to add the boxes that I intend to shoot out okay those boxes are right inside the Western prop park I shown I've actually shown you guys where to get that anyway so let's come right in here you see you see wood uh, the wooden crate inside the wooden crate come right down that is it right there and there they are you see this very one that is the crack version and this is the uncrack version so what I intend to do is the uncrack, uh, the uncrack version I'm going to place them on the walkway right here okay let's just grab some of those increase the size of that just push this in a little bit more okay those would be the enemies that we need to take care of grab and just dump it right here so I'm going to grab a couple so but first thing first let's increase the size of that to about two maybe I should go for zero zero point nine that looks like it's a bit too small okay one yeah 1.5 all right go for 1.5 just copy that and paste it around 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 there we go then that looks a bit too big though okay just one there so we can always select control D and just copy arrange it so that it will give me very good explosion yeah okay I'm just gonna copy this copy it all right okay guys as you can see we have all our boxes there okay but unfortunately we don't know what's in there so we're going to have to get the authority to take care of that but before we can do that i'm going to tidy up things all of these boxes i intend to put them right inside an empty game object so let's just call it wooden yeah i'm just gonna call it wooden crate score crate there now select all of the wooden crate and just drag it straight into the game object itself there is more that need to go in there and I think there's one right up there okay minimize that come right up here there is one there that need to go in there let's collapse the trees that's just drag it straight in there where is it come on yeah there we go right now we have all of the boxes in one place I'm gonna select it all okay select it all and what I want to do is uh, just to add some components so right here the first thing I'll do is add click on add components and I'm going to select add rigid body to all then the other thing I want to add is I'm going also going to add box collider there so each of these they all have rigid body okay and box collider let's collide collapse all of this so that you can see that is the box collider and that's the rigid body okay collapse that you can always expand it at your own convenience all right that is that done okay now all these wooden crate that I've created I'm going to change the mass to 
let's go for about 11 so I'm going to select it all and just enter 11 here there right that is taken care of now let's collapse that the other thing we need to do now is let's come in here to the west prop pack and let's select this very crate okay the cracked version drop the crack version there and I'm going to change the size of this crack version to let's go for 10 by 10 by 10 there. then I will also click on the drop down there and let's select every single crack version because this box is actually in pieces let me demonstrate what I mean look that is one piece and so on so I've selected it all so as you can see they are all individual so what I'm going to do is select it all okay make sure it's all selected now click on add components the component I want to add will be mesh collider okay make sure this canvas is selected there we go all right now we have mesh collider in there and this selected is checked now the next thing I would like to I have to add would be the rigid body add a rigid body to it there and each of them has their own rigid body the other thing is since it's all selected anyway so let's come in there you see where we have the mouse I'm going to make that 0 0.5 right okay that is it that is it all taken care of now just collapse that I will now come right down here drag it straight into my assets folder click drag to create a prefab there and it's asking me would I like to create an original prefab I'm gonna say yes I want to create an original prefab and that is my prefab right underneath here let's move this up so that you can see it a bit that's my prefab okay collapse this so that you can see it properly all right that is done so I can now delete that I don't need it here anymore okay the code will take care of the rest delete now the next thing I want to do is to add a weapon maybe I will I'll set you for that grenade or grenade come in here and that is it I'm going to select M26 just drop that in there I think I'm going to make the size about 16 by 16 by 16 so that we can see it properly there we go that is it there okay all right and that is it right there okay that's good enough so the other thing is I'm now going to add a capsule collider to it so make sure it's selected come right here and let's say capsule collider now that capsule collider is added to it look at the size it's all there it's all everywhere so I'm going to reduce the size of that very capsule collider so the radius let's make the radius 0 0.05 okay it's looking good and the height I'm going to make the height 0 0.14 yeah yeah that is correct I think I've got it right so that's taken care of all right the next thing is for me to now convert this to a prefab but well, it seems seems there's a little bit of, of room here I might as well just make it 0 0.04 okay the radius is now 0 0.04 I think that is fine okay so now that that is done you see the the grenade itself I'm now going to drag it 
and just drop it right inside the asset here and select original preferred there that is that done okay we don't need this grenade on board anymore we can always delete it now okay let's click in there and just get rid of it there so we have we have our crack wooden box and the grenade okay one other thing I would like to do with these two prefabs is I'm going to I think maybe I should just add some sound to them for now so let's select let's select the the grenade which is the M M26 that is it right here so I'm going to come right down here you see where we have uh, add components let's look for audio audio source there and I will drag this very sound a uh, rifle single shot okay uh, let's just dump that in here okay and if you want to hear how that sound we can always just play it and hear let's see if we can yeah we should be able to play it somewhere there okay rifle sim the single shot is added anyway so what i'm I, I will leave the play on awake i'll leave it on okay so as soon as the grenade is thrown there that sound you to get activated so the other one is you see this wooden crate cracked that very prefab I'm also going to add audio source to it and this time around the the audio I will add will be the explosion this very one okay so go back in there i've added my audio source click drag the explosion and drop it in there so the two components or the two prefab the sound part of it is taken care of m26 that's the name of my grenade there that's the audio source and play on awake is taken care of the wooden crack that one is also taken care of and the play on awake is on is checked as well now okay now guys i'm going to now change the look of this pavement so let's come into let's come into the material here so i'm going to create another material there and I'm just gonna call it pay yeah that's fine okay right inside our material I need something from here this very brick so let's come right down here select pave and just come right in here I think I might be able to even drag let's let's see click and drag and just dump it right in there that's it done so I will now select each of these and just drop my paved yeah that is it and again one other thing is let's change the tilings so I'm going to make that about 8 by 1 there so I'll just repeat the same thing for the others so let's come right in here and wrap the others So there they are, so I'm just going to drag my pave or pavement, whatever it's going to be called, and just dump it right in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll just repeat exactly the same thing for the, for the other pavement. Okay. And I'll get back to you guys. You know how to fix that anyway. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's repeat the same thing for the others. Okay, all is taken care of. So just this one left, this very one here. Grab the pavement and just dump it there. Can't even change the name to pavement for real. 
Let's click on it gently and yeah, it's much better. Okay, that's taken care of. Now the next thing I like to do is to add some bench. Yeah, there we go. There they are. So I'm just gonna grab one and just paste it right maybe somewhere here. Okay, let's maybe grab this one. Let's leave it right there. I will then change the size to 15 by 15 by 15. Okay, let's see. That's, that's fine. That is fine. So let's see how it's going to look like in there. Yeah, you see that, guys? So I'm just going to select that Ctrl D and drag one across over there. Select both now. And just control D and let's drag one across right and let's change that to 180. Yeah, so that is fine. So rotation is 180. You see they're facing each other. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna select all of those bench as it's called in here. I'm gonna select it all and just copy it across. Select that. Um, I think there might be this one here. Yeah, let's control. Let's duplicate and just drag it across. All right, we have enough benches out there now. Okay. So I'm going to just speed that up and get back to you guys. Okay, I have all the bench across, so what I'm going to do is just let's run it and see how it looks like. Then we'll take it from there. Yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Um, I don't like these, these very boxes. They're kind of like blocking the church, so I'm going to rearrange those. So let's come in here, stop that. Let's come right down here and just rearrange those and I'll get back to you that's no big deal I will get that done okay guys this is how the boxes looks like now so what I'm gonna do is let me just say shift control you see that okay let's go back now I'm going to start work with the scripting so I'm gonna create a folder that I will call script so let's just give our folder a name gently double click on it i'm going to call it script there we go okay right inside the folder i'm going to select the script folder and let's go to create let's make sure it's selected go to create and i will then select c sharp and in there we can just, just call it m26 grenade okay the script m26 grenade is created i'm going to select it and then click on open you can also double click on it there we go there so i'm going to start by declaring some variable up here so let's say public public float and I'm going to call that explosion range. Okay, that will be the range of the explosion. So I'm going to make that approximately 7. There. So that will be 7 float and the other variable I'm going to declare, let me declare another one now, and I think I will call that the amount of force. But we can just say amount of force. Okay, so let's make that amount approximately, I think I will set for about 800. There we go now let's declare another public variable but this in this this time around this very public variable is going to be a game object so let's say game object particle 
effect so that would be for the particle effect once the explosion goes off we expect that to to just give us some particles up there or maybe firework or whatever all right that is done so the next thing is i'm not going to delete this i'm just going to leave them for now maybe get rid of this comment it's on the way and get rid of this one as well so right underneath my void update function so i'm going to create a method here this method i'm going to call that grenade explode okay there so let's just call that grenade explode right so that would be the function that will take care of the explosion right let's just correct this yeah okay now inside my grenade explosion function what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an instantiation so let's say instantiate okay that would be it and what do i want it to do i want it to instantiate the particle effect which i have up there there we go and comma let's say transform transform dot position okay and now we also ask it to transform the rotation as well transform dot rotation there we go enter a semicolon there now that that is done what will happen is I would like it to also destroy the the grenade okay since we've displayed the particle what we then need to do is to destroy the grenade itself so I'm going to just enter destroy game object and that would be the grenade there okay so we need to save this let's save it and go to our scene so right in here what I'm going to do now is you see the M26 and that is the grenade so what I would do is I would then drag the the script that we've just written let's look for the script okay that is my script right there open that up then drag the script straight into m26 which is the grenade select the grenade and let's go to the property inspector here and in there as you can see we have explosion range which is seven and the amount of force that will be applied on the explosion then the particle effect so let's look for a particle effect inside this 48 particle effect pack i'm going to go for let's see maybe fireball we actually have to make sure the m26 or the grenade itself is visible so let's come right down here yeah okay that is it so I need a fireball drag and just drop it right in there there I'm going to save that let me run it and see how it's going to look like before actually running it we're going to need some prefab grenade here so let me just drag that drop it here let's see click drag yeah just drop one here okay move it up a little bit and here another one yeah and another one here and let's see what's gonna happen move this in the center here okay let's add one more so we have about four okay yeah let's just play around with it and see what's gonna happen that's five in total all right 
so I have them there so I would then let's just save it and click on run let's see what's gonna happen look at that you see the explosion guys you see that okay I kind of like move my mouse let me do that again so that you guys will see that so run it again so just look at what's gonna happen with the boxes look at that guys see that that that's good so let's end it and uh, continue with our codes so as you guys can see nothing happens to the boxes apart from the particles that we saw exploded so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a method that will take a look at all of the all of the colliders and if these colliders they're getting contact with this fair it should explode and just move the boxes around so to do that what I'm gonna do is first of all okay I'm just gonna say collider equals no let, let's just make it an array anyway equals I'm going to call it collide no let's just say collider in lowercase then I will then say physics so the physics will do some work there dot over overlay sphere right there okay so those overlay sphere what I then want you to do is to get it transformed okay transform the position dot position comma explosion range okay if you guys remember the explosion range that I declared right up there let me show it to you right up here I have my explosion range there okay so which means when he explodes it will cover that very range so now let's use a for loop so I'm going to just enter for each of those for each of those collider okay for each of those collider that will be in a nearby object inside the collider here so I now want it to do as follows okay before I can go any further here let me just enter coil braces there but I'm gonna have to declare a rigid body variable here let me say private that will be rigid body and just call it RB okay that's fine so let's come right down here so right down here so to add some force we just need to say RB equals nearby object and the nearby objects we just need to say get get components and what component are we talking about we're talking about any component with a rigid body there we go there however if the object does not have any rigid body in it we can always use an if statement just to check we can then say rb is not equals to none so if RB is not equals to none, what I want the system to do is to go ahead and get it destroyed. So we say RB dot add explosion force. And that is going to be my variable of the amount of force, comma, transform. dot 
position, comma, explosion range. There we go. There. And right underneath here, what we then need to say is just destroy. Okay, let's save this now and go into Unity just to try it out. So I'm going to come in here, just click on play. And let's see what's going to happen to those boxes. Look at that, look at that. You see that explosion? Okay, let me do that again. I do that again. Okay, just keep your eye on these boxes. And let's see what's going to happen to them. Boom, you see that, guys? Yeah, that's what I want. However, the boxes still remain intact. What I want to happen is for those boxes to be shattered. So let's take care of that too. Okay, as you guys can see, apart from this box get, uh, getting been tossed up and down, there was no destruction. None of the boxes were destroyed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. Okay, you see where I have my script. I'm going to create another script Let's, and we call that enemy destroyer there okay so let's go back in there and select our enemy destroyer make sure it is selected and click on open right there so what we want to do now is so right in here the first thing we need to do is I'm gonna get rid of all of these let's get rid of them or maybe leave one yeah and in here I'm going to declare as follows public and I'll call that variable that will be game object and this game object let's give it a name we can call it enemy or we can just call it destroy enemy destroy enemy yeah it's not too bad right so that is the name of my object game object so the next thing I will do is I'm going to enter public and that would be public void so I'm going to change this to destroy let's say destroyer okay so in the case of the destroyer I need some instantiated method in here so let's come in here and just copy all the instantiated that I have in here instead of typing it all out copy that and come right in here paste that in there I will now change that change my particle effect to destroy enemy there and let's come back in here and just copy destroy object right there and that's all for these very lines of code see how easy that is okay it's not finished yet all we then need to now do is we need to call this enemy destroyer inside the m26 grenade so we come right in here so right underneath here we're gonna create let's say we create an object equals let's give it a name I'm gonna call it get enemy and get enemy equals nearby object and this nearby object we then say get component okay what component do we want that we get okay and this component that we want that is going to be enemy destroyer and enter your parentheses there right so let's use an if statement now so we then say if just copy in that paste that in there if close that if enemy destroyer equals new or if any if get enemy 
not equals to nothing get enemy dot destroyer and we enter our parentheses right there well the spelling is wrong here okay enter that and let's come in here and try to change that let's see yeah let's just change that properly I just noticed that okay so let's come in here there will still be an error there we go right the error is gone so let's make sure this is saved now you see this enemy destroyer we now need to go into our unity environment and minimize this right inside the unity environment so let's go into the wooden crate just open that up and select it all okay come right down here get it selected i will now drag the script enemy destroyer and just drop it in there so let's select it individually hopefully that should be or maybe that means i'm gonna have to enter that individually that will be painstaking okay let's do that come in here grab my scripts drag and drop it in there there so right in here make sure it's selected though come right in here so we now need to add our enemy and who is enemy destroyer who are we destroying that will be this script drag that and just drop it right in there okay that would be the, uh, the crate that will get shattered so I'm going to repeat the same thing for every single one of the crate okay that shouldn't take me a long time to do so as soon as it's done I'll get back to you guys okay guys all of these my wooden crate they now have their own uh, their own cracked images there okay wooden crate crack okay so number two has its own and so on so that's fine now instead of me to be hanging about so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go straight to let's go straight to the main camera here there and I'm going to add the script so let's come in here and just say script and the script we want is going to be C sharp okay let's give that a name so I, I called it launch grenade that is it right there and I make sure C sharp is selected that is fine so I'm gonna click on create so let's minimize that so that we can create it okay right there that is it I'm going to move it straight into the script folder there we go right now make sure it is selected and click on open right there so I will start by declaring as follows so it's going to be public Float, and I will call that launch grenade launch grenade force okay equals let's make that maybe about maybe 40 okay now the other th the other one is I'm going to declare another one here and I'll call that game object the game object is going to be M26 grenade. Let's just say is M26 green grenade prefab. Yeah, that is the name of my grenade. There. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start by deleting the void stats and get rid of this as well 
and let's take it up a little bit and there guys I have to speed up this because it's taking too long so let's save it presume you can see the code properly just few lines of codes alright so let's save that again and go to unity okay guys we are now inside unity so what I'm going to do is make sure I select the main camera and come right down here you see where we have the launch grenade force so I'm going to select my grenade which is known as M26 click drag and drop it right in here where we have M26 grenade prefab and that's all there is to it so let's try it out but before then I'm gonna save it click on that see yeah there we go right look at the buildings the caravans and let's the cars okay and you can see the rail cars as well as the church right there and let's look for our enemy the boxes as you can see there's the yellow car right over there so but the enemy boxes are right here so let's take them down Bye for now.